So how, how much is the finished book a reflection of your actual journey? That's the $74 million question. <laughs> the $7.99 question. Um, <laughs> it's very largely what happened to me. What I do say is there were certain incidences that didn't happen quite in those places or in that order. Mm. And one or two events were toned down and one or two events were toned up. But it's pretty much what happened. Mm. Mm. So at what point did you think, yeah, this is a book, this could be a book? I think I got more serious about writing when I came home from India and was trying to understand what had happened to me. Um, in the book I describe a number of things, some, some very difficult and painful, others quite magical. And I think the culture shock of going so far away from England and then coming back, I realised that there was so there was a kind of story to tell, and firstly I had to tell it to myself, mm. and from that maybe I could share it with other people. But how did you decide what should go in the book, what episode should go in the book? I think when I first started I wrote down pretty much everything that happened chronologically, <clears throat> and then I found that I had just pages and pages of stuff. <coughs> and as I let one or two people read things, and as I came back to it at different times, I started seeing that the difference between a diary, which was, is just what happens each day, and, and a book, which is perhaps following a character through a journey, is, is quite a considerable difference. Or maybe there are some books that are more or less exact diaries, but I felt that I needed to turn my diaries a little bit more into something that read like a, an adventure story, but a little bit more novelistic. Mm -hmm. And that was when I began to see which incidences fitted mm -hmm. and which needed to be left out. Mm -hmm. so, so what were your hopes for the book when you started to write it? What, was, what did you... Book a prize. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd never written a book before. Um, I hadn't written anything really other than maybe some little bit of journalism, small pieces, a few poems, a few songs. And I think I did it as much as a personal challenge because I really wasn't working very much over the few years that I was uh, working on the book. And it was as much a practice to keep with a story, to stay with a project. And the more I did that, the more I began to think. Not only is it worth finishing, but it's probably worth publishing, sharing, letting people enjoy it. Mm.